Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Joe Mariscal. Back at it again with my player, fucking partner. <coughs> William Rodriguez. William Rodriguez coming in, <laughs> coughing up on the mic on today's episode. I Jesus. thought I could make it. Hey, you kind of did. I was like, you know, I was I was uh, killing the, killing time for you so you could fucking finish that shit. I was trying. I was like, will my player fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, dun, 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 dun. Dun, it was fucking. Dun, dun. It was like a fucking Tom Cruise. Before, Some Tom Cruise shit, yeah. Before Scientology. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's another story right there. That's though. a fucking completely different sidetrack. All right, man. So, uh, fucking, uh, what's been going on with you, man? <laughs> fucking nothing, dude. Fucking uh, work has been stressful as fucking usual. You know what I mean? <laughs> Boss been Fuck riding work. the knob. Riding the nuts, huh? Like a motherfucking, uh, like a fucking rodeo. You know what I mean? <laughs> For real, like a rodeo, like like a motherfucking prize bull. You know and I'm saying this motherfucker. Hey, that's what they do, right? Hell, I mean, I guess this, this motherfucker got weird random out of nowhere too. This mo- oh, here, let me tell you this. All right, go for but it. But before you motherfucking start this shit, fucking uh, this motherfucker rolls up to me, and then goes, "Hey, uh, I thought you said we were gonna be finished by uh four thirty. And at this time, I was like fucking like three forty. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be done by that time. And then he's like, well, you haven't even touched that fucking pallet. I'm like, dude, that pallet's like fucking two inches tall, my guy. Like, it's going to get done. Like like two inches tall. Yeah, it's a little pallet, huh? It's, it's, it's for the for the little kids. It's because it's little baby pallet. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I fucking knocked that shit out right quick. And then this fool comes up to me. Like, the way he's... <laughs> The way he sounded, Joseph, it sounded like he was about to start crying, my nigga. Like, it was like... What do you mean? Like, he, his voice was cracking and shit, or what? Like, he was like, I just... I I, I just wanted everyone to finish by 4.30. I just wanted you guys to finish. <laughs> Fuck. I was like... Like, in my head, like... Because, obviously, I'm not going to say this to him because I'm going to get fucking fired. And, I, and I'm, you know... Fucking job equals money equals fucking more shit for the motherfucking potty. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, fucking... In my head, I was like... You don't gotta cry about it, my guy. Like you it's don't fine. Gotta cry about it. Like it's fine, my G. Like you don't. Like it's not that serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't know who's whispering this homie in homie's ear. Like, yo, man, everyone, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't fucking get done to finish, I'm gonna kill your whole family. <laughs> everyone needs to get done now. It's like, yo, chill. <clears throat> I don't give a fuck. Oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, but that's for the most part. Like, but other than that, man, I'm fucking chilling. Got that's fucking cool. that. Got everything fucking chilling right now, man. I'm fucking playing there Devil May Cry, so I'm happy. Nice. Devil May Cry. That's all I got to do. Fucking, um... What about you? How's it going? Coming, uh, up, coming up on the Christmas, uh, the Christmas miracle eh, of I'm, Jesus' I'm not birth. too crazy about Christmas, if I'm honest. Not anymore? Too much shopping. Did it used to be crazy about Christmas? I mean, it was cooler before because I had my family around, but now, right. like, no one's around, so, like, I don't see nobody, but it's cool because, like, I'm a grown-ass man. It's, like... It's weird how it gets like that, huh? Yeah. It gets real lonely when you get older for some people. For some people. I don't know. I yeah. can't speak for everybody. Yeah. Like, if you're still having fucking uh, honey-baked ham with your fam on fucking... Be fucking thank, grateful. Yeah, yeah. Thank fucking... Uh, thank whoever. Somebody, God. Thank goodness. If you love the devil, then thank him. There thank you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but this is a side thing, but just out of curiosity, I, I found a, a satanic uh, podcast, right? And I was oh, listening no. to it. I, w- I was trying to see if there was anything I could grasp from it that was, like, kind of, like, positive or something. Because they, they talk about shit like, oh, you shouldn't fucking feel bad about yourself. Embrace yourself and shit. And then this fool. <laughs> All sick ass. I'm not <laughs> like going to say the word. I'm not going to say the word he used, but he started saying racial slurs. And he's like, why should that bother? And you could straight up tell it was a white dude, too. Right. He goes, why should that bother anyone if I say this word? And then right. it's on my head. I'm like, never mind. This is where they're. This is why these niggas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. That's the word he said. But he's like, why should that bother you? It's just a word. I'm like, nah, bro. You can't just be. But he said it like the, you know. Yeah, yeah. He said it with the ER. I was yeah, like, bro. That, that fool was throwing it around mad. But he was, he, he said it like like normal. And then he was like, what? He's like, see? What's the our, problem? He was pretty much saying that like in that religion, like they don't get phased by words. Because they're just words. It's like, bro. Get so the you, fuck out of here. So are they like, right? You, okay, here. Let me, so is that why KKK members up, burn the upside down cross? Are they <laughs> devil worshippers? Nah, they, they what's burn, going on here? They don't burn the upside down cross. Yeah, they do. Don't. Oh, it's like a regular cross. Is a regular, That's still kind of like right, some yeah. satanic shit. I, I mean, I, I don't honestly, know. I don't know why they even do that. To I be mean, because aren't they like Christian cults? And uh, technically speaking, because the KKK so. believes in God and shit. They're like, we are the pure spirit Marijuana. of God. God looks like us. Damn it. God, 
he's white he's not a he's not black <laughs> it's like damn dude oh, what the fuck? fuck but i don't fucking I, I i literally don't understand why they fucking burn the cross though that's something that yeah i don't know that shit's weird now i'm contemplating that that shit's mad weird oh fuck it but anyway matter. whatever fuck all that shit I don't even know how the fuck did I start talking about that. I don't know, but it was hilarious. Oh, because I found the podcast. Oh on yeah, the, on, it's because I found it on the Apple podcast. I was just at work looking at podcasts. <laughs> what is it called? It's just I, I I don't. I think it was some shit like modern Satanism or some oh, stupid bullshit. That shit already but sounds it, like it's an out, it's an outdated ass podcast. The last episode right. was from 2007. So oh hell yeah, probably because people were like you're wild racist. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. Yeah, I was, I was just trying to like understand the whole satanic religion. I'm not a part of that, but I was yeah, just but trying. Just to and get this a, guy just starts uh, being racist. I'm like, all right, never mind. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, never mind, bro. I'll tell you this, like. Like isn't like I like I understand what he's getting at like like yeah. oh like we shouldn't be offended by that word because Cause it's just a word no, but it's like well, I don't well, know man well not even like that because what he's saying is like in their religion it's like we don't get offended by words because fucking Satan or whatever you know yeah. what I mean fucking like that doesn't make sense because like imagine like okay like imagine if you were in like regular church right yeah and fucking uh, God or whatever like like teaches the same shit like oh don't get offended be cool like like make sure your self esteem is od high yeah. you know what I mean and it's like imagine if like the preacher was just like yo I don't know what the fuck is going <laughs> on but there's hell of motherfucking black people in here you know what I mean it's like yo I'll be like whoa that, that's more than just a word now you're kind of like now you're addressing a certain group and yeah. that's like come on my no, boy yeah you, like you don't need to be doing that like like if I'm in mass. If I'm ever going, which is what I'm trying to say, my bad, my bad, my bad. If I'm ever going to mass, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, is like if that, like, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. All right, man. Late. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go see what's up in Scientology. Oh man, but anyway, yeah. I don't one know. thing I wanted to bring up. I'm going Fuck into a topic em. here. Did you know that uh, Celebrity Deathmatch is making a remake? It's making a comeback. Bullshit. Yeah, they're they're coming back with celebrity. Here, let's look it up. Let's let's do some research. I do actually want to see. Because I, hold on. I I heard I heard about it being back, but I don't know. But I heard a lot of shit about it. Is it gonna be claymation still? I hope so. I was, I was, let's I, see. Hold on. That was the best part about it. Well, let's see. Do you think we can find anything on YouTube? No. Let's. Uh. Well, let me tell you some. How do you? How do you suppose celebrity? No. <laughs> I was gonna tell you. Um, yeah, I don't even know how to spell it, to be honest with you. Now that I really think about it, C E B L. Chris Rock versus Dwayne. They already came out with it. Look. Nah, get the fuck out of here. Let's see. Or is this an old episode? I don't know. I can't tell. When did it, when did it say it was uh, published? Uh, this one says five months ago. Um, then it seems pretty fucking recent. But then again, someone can be like. Versus Butthead official clip celebrity death. Are these I f- old? I feel like they did that one already. Yeah. Okay, so these might be old. Well, let's just play a clip for the for those that don't remember Celebrity Deathmatch yeah. or you're not familiar. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick. I I highly doubt you could see the fucking laptop. Let I me doubt. see. Play the one uh, where fucking uh, uh, Spider Man fights fucking Jake Gyllenhaal. And he beats him to death with his foot. Does he really? Yeah, he beats fucking uh, what what Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. Oh, he oh, but it's just Toby. Yeah, he beats his bitch ass. His face, his his fucking face, and with the fucking foot, his own foot. He's like, "Do you know what I used to do to spiders? Rip their legs off." I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I remember that." You shit. remember that? Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, chill. You ain't gotta be doing shit like that to spiders." Honestly, spiders are fucking wild, scary, and weird. But at the same time, you ain't gotta be ripping, ripping their motherfucking legs off. That's not fucking cool. Ripping their legs off. You ain't gotta do that. You know what I mean? Like I used to like. I'm not gonna lie. I used to do some fucked up shit to spiders because. Like what? Well, I mean, f- I mean, not like super fucked up, like give me a counselor type shit, you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> but like, uh, but like, uh, like I was just like pff, hit him with hit him with a torch one time, you know what I mean? Just because uh, I don't like like uh, m- remember that 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 old uh, that old thing people used to say where it's like uh, like spiders scream if they get burned. Uh, I think that was cockroaches, wasn't it? I think it was spider. Like, cockroaches too. Do they? I've burnt. Look, really short story. When I was a kid, I found a cockroach in the kitchen. Uh-huh. I got a a match and I just burnt the motherfucker. Like I held him by the little whisker and I burnt him. He was screaming. Like it was kind of creepy. I the got thing, freaked out. The thing. I, I, I then again, I'm not a scientist and I've never fucking looked this up. I feel like it might not even be screaming. I feel like it just might be like because they don't have a voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless, unless like 
when they feel fire, they're like, yeah! You know what I mean? I don't fucking know. Beats me, man. I have no idea. But what I'm saying is, like, I think it might be, like, their, like, their skin or flesh, like, oh, that makes like that searing noise. or something. I don't mm, fucking know. I don't know. All right, let's look at this clip right here. Yeah, is it? It better be the I, one. I can't find that shit, bro. Damn it. It doesn't come out. I don't know what to tell you. You got to put Tobey Maguire. I did. Uh, like, well, well, fuck it. Let's see that rock one, then. I want to see <laughs> who wins. The rock? Versus who? My sister loves The Rock. Dwayne Rock and Chris Rock. I feel like I know who wins this. I feel like Chris Rock. I feel like Chris Rock wins. I don't know why. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Uh, I hate these fucking commercials. That you can't skip it. You have no choice. You, you have to watch it. Oh wait, but, hold up. Pause it real quick. Fucking, tell me why Mary Poppins is barely coming out with the fucking another return. Like like. Is it a part two? Was there a part two ever? I don't think so. Like so, what I think the it was f- always just Mary fucking Poppins. So what yeah. the fuck are you doing? So they're barely making a sequel. Is yeah, that what that was? That's what that was. I that didn't was even Mary pay attention Poppins. to what the fuck that was. Dude, I'm telling you, my guy. I my, I used to watch Mary Poppins all the time because my motherfucking sister OD loves Disney movies. I barely remember that fucking movie, bro. Honestly, you don't remember? It's like I'm a chimney. I shape, I know what the fuck it is. I just barely remember like the <laughs> visuals. I I remember the fucking music. I'm telling you, it's like a. I don't even know how that even was a musical. I feel like it wasn't supposed to be a musical. <coughs> and there's like, yeah, just throw some fucking music in there. Fuck it. Let them sing it. The whole <laughs> thing isn't a musical, right? There's like normal well, scenes. I mean, musicals aren't necessarily like a whole like, like them being like, oh, I'm from like, <laughs> like their, their dialogue. Yeah, you know I, mean? I like guess. They're not singing their dialogue. Well, like 80% of the fucking movie, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like high school musical. Like, like some, like some of it's like. Yo, man, I have high school promise, man. I need to get Vanessa Hudgens to suck my dick. I gotta get Vanessa Hudgens to, to suck, suck my, my dick. dick. And then they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that was fucking perfect. Good that shit. That was nice. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's watch this shit real quick. I haven't seen this show in a minute. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. I love Chris Rock, man. Shout out Chris Rock. Shout out Chris Rock. If you never seen, uh, I fucking love everybody hates Chris, man. <laughs> oh, not, not even just that. Have you seen his uh, his new comedy special or not new? Nah, I haven't seen any recent special. It's called Tambourine. I'm gonna have Netflix. to watch it. I'm gonna have to watch that. Oh, there Damn, he is. That kicked it. <laughs> he said, "Get the fuck out of here with all that." Do what I used to do when I was a kid. I used to be like, "Yo, I wonder what kind of shoes they're wearing." What? But then I realized that they're not, like, any shoes at all. Yeah, it's just... It's just, like, just fucking... Uh, whatever. Like, fucking Play-Doh. Yeah, it's just, just Play-Doh, man. <laughs> yo, the, yo, the impression... <laughs> the impressions good. are good, yeah. yeah. It's like South Park. <laughs> yeah. Like, sometimes I'm like, yo, is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Was it... I feel, I feel like this came out during the, like, uh... Like the controversy. Wait, fuck. Will we get kicked off YouTube for playing the whole thing? I think if we talk through it, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Watch us go back. And Look, I'm going to skim gone. through it. I'm going to skim through it. Sure. I want to watch. I, yeah. I want to see who gets beat to death anyways. All right. Yeah. I'm going to skim through it. I'm not trying to fucking. It's all right. All right here. I really want to see. Oh, no. Oh, all oh, the Look rocks in his buff form. That's what looks like fucking uh, Sylvester Stallone right there. Damn, he's Ooh, beating the doing? shit out of him. Wait, I told you that he wins. Jesus Christ. That fool beats him to death with fucking uh, his yeah, rush hour awards. He's got all the fucking muscle, bro. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, is he eating his ass? No. <laughs> that fool's got his legs snapped. That's what it looked like, Loki. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was this eating was this guy's ooh. ass, bro. I was like, nah. Just straight up in the fucking asshole of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yep. Damn, get crushed. Oh. It's not even fair because The Rock's already a fucking wrestler, bro. He's got experience in the ring. Oh, shit. Yeah, but when it comes to a fucking uh, That's what's <laughs> up, though. You could use some fucking weapons. I mean, you're all good. Well, I mean, they used to use fucking metal chairs in fucking wrestling. Oh, yeah? Metal chairs. Metal fucking chairs. Remember? They're, oh, he's bringing out the chair. Oh! <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they're always fucking blah. 
They don't even use fucking right, whatever. Shit. We got the point with this bullshit. I mean, that wasn't even... Why do I feel like that wasn't as interesting as it was when we were younger? I don't know. I felt like when we were younger, there was way more gore involved. That felt corny. Yeah, that felt kind of boring. I don't know. I guess when you're a kid... I don't know. I don't know, man. Now I'm not that excited for the return. Yeah, like that was weird. It was whatever. <laughs> I remember being way more entertaining than that. I feel, but, uh, I'm telling you it. this, though. That Spider-Man one... It's my has to hands down be my favorite joke of all time before someone kills somebody. What what did he say? I, I told you the fucking way he rips their legs off. That's fucking hilarious. Even though it's you know even though you know spiders deserve to live too. By the same time, if I was in a spider's web, that fucker wouldn't let me live. True you that. I mean? Hell no. Yeah. That would be like dinner. Remember Courage the Cowardly Dog? Those spiders. I don't. Uh, I think it was the first episode. Hotel Cat. Oh, yeah. All the spiders and shit. See, they're big. They try to eat us. No, you're right. All right. Um, like fucking eight-legged freaks. Eight-legged fucking freakaroos. That sounds my wild controversial. All right, here's something that's been really bugging me and something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And now I'm, I'm finally ready to admit sure. the truth. Sure. Okay. I want to talk about the new Star Wars movies. Oh, no. Okay. I why, really, why now? What the fuck? I'm going to explain why. My for me, what's the reason during the Christmas time? You mm-hmm. know, I used to. I'm gonna. You know, I still haven't done it. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. These new Star Wars movies got me in this this Star Wars depression. You know, because oh, because they're wild. Why? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go into detail about this right now, real quick. Because before I kind of backed up the movies, and I, I used too, to kind of defend them and shit, because I, I really wanted Star Wars to continue and work out. But yeah. the sad truth is, after you know watching them now and really thinking about it. The sequels are fucking terrible, man. They're not good. Whoa! They're fucking garbage. The only ones wait, that are the only wait, ones wait. I can say are good is Rogue One and Han Solo. Rogue oh, One and Han okay, Solo are right. fucking awesome. Dude. I was say not all. Of them I are think trash. the side the side films are great, yeah. but I think Return of the Jedi. I mean, Return of the Jedi, great fucking film. Love it. Yeah, yeah beautiful. I think. Um, Tell me why they put more effort into the side films too. I feel like. Yeah, hell yeah, right. I feel like the other ones are just like eh. Whatever. Like, they even had the fucking, uh, like, initiative to bring back Darth Maul with the robot legs. Exactly. You know what I mean? That was some fucking G shit. It's because they had the Obi-Wan movie going on, but now that you know why they're not going to release the Obi-Wan movie why? anymore? Eric was telling me that now because the Han Solo didn't make the box office money that they expected it to make, they're done with the side films. They're Word? trashing all of them now. Word. Disney said, fuck that. We're just doing sequels now. So now we're just getting shitty sequels. Well, so there you go. the reason why I was talking about Star Wars now until now is because, um, you know, when it gets close to Christmas all my life, pretty much I've, I've watched the Star Wars movies all in one go, you know, like I go from like, and now that there's more movies, there's more to watch, which is great. But you know, like during this time I got to the fucking sequels and I didn't want to watch them, man. That's a beautiful tradition, by the way. It like, is. It's, that, it's that, my Christmas. That'll bring, for a, me, that'll bring a tear to my eye. Almost. For me, c- Christmas is Star Wars, like extravaganza yeah hell yeah i just go all out with star because when i was a kid all my presents were always star wars related bro right. like because oh, i yeah, you know i right. love star wars man like i've always grown up getting a lot of star wars shit so you used to have the illest star wars toys yeah i had a big old collection until i sold that shit I saw good. That's part of collecting. You sell shit. I just sold a bunch of shit from my collection. I just made oh, like. Oh yeah, how'd that go, dude? I made over two hundred bucks in one day. You slanged all those fucks? Nah, dude. That's the funny part. I didn't even sling them all yet. I still got many to sell, and I made over like two hundred bucks already. What was like a motherfucker? Like, I'll give you fucking a hundred bucks for that. Yeah, dog. Like, Word? Nah. What well, the the highest they paid was sixty bucks for one figure. What? Yeah, and it you, was and it was you, rare, man. eBay's one hell of a place. I thought you said, oh yeah, oh I see what you did. You threw up, you threw up because you said you're gonna throw them up for fifteen. So you threw them up at fifteen for the bid. Yeah. And then blah 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 blah. For some of them, not right? all of them. Yeah. Well, some of them are more rare than some of them. Of them I right? just some of them aren't, so I just sell them at whatever price, and then it's a done deal. But some of them I'll have them bid a little bit because they're more rare, and you know, well, that's you a fucking get some good monies like yeah, that. Yeah, hell yeah. But anyway, yeah, the new Star Wars, suck, and I'm gonna explain <laughs> oh, why. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm gonna explain why I think it sucks because. Point okay, look, Force Awakens was okay, but everyone's right. It's just a fucking remake of New Hope. It, it's exactly the it same is. fucking plot. You killed off Han Solo, which you didn't fucking have For to no do. Reason. Because if you're trying to prove Kylo Ren's this fucking tough guy that can kill his dad, he's still a fucking pussy boy that couldn't defeat Rey and in the end decided to join her because of how fucking strong she was compared oh, to him. Dear. And Going on to the fact that Rey's not even that strong herself. She's kind of whatever. Yeah. And, oh, well, there's no more Jedi. They're all dead. She's, like, relearning everything they learn. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Because Luke was still around, and look what they did to Luke, bro. Yeah. Do Dude, not even Mark Hamill likes that shit, bro. No, yeah. He fucking hates it. What movie was that? Fucking, uh... 
the the second one from the sequels. It was Force Awakens. The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. Fucking trash ass movie. Tell me the why. The worst Star Wars movie to date. Do you want to? I don't understand. I would have liked it better if, like, he would have died in real life. You know what I mean? Like, tell me why. This is this Who, is Mark. Uh, n- no, fucking like, if they're okay. Let, let's say okay, we have to kill off Luke. Okay. Uh huh. Like, we're in the, we're me and you are in the rise when we have to do it. Yeah. And someone pitches that, I'll be like, yo, how about instead of him being a wild bitch ass and just meditating him, like, force meditating illusions. For, like, 50 million years. Like, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> no, like, why? Like, Oh, you mean, like, all the stuff that was. No, like, in the battle. Yeah. Like, when, like, like remember when, like, he thought he cut him in half? Yeah. And then this was, like, yeah, you Oh, asshole. yeah, yeah, the illusion and then, like, bullshit. And that, that photo goes, and, like, fades into dust. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why? Like, why didn't, like. Like remember when you first get to the fucking uh, the planet where where they find Luke at yeah and his and the X wing is is in the fucking uh, the, yeah. the water yep. dude I thought it was about to be like some fucking nostalgic fucking uh, like training shit yeah like like in Dagobah with fucking Yoda with Yoda he's, he's yeah fucking pull out the fucking X wing and negative and fly over there take out like blue 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 take out all those fucking uh, uh, gorilla fucking walkers yeah you know what I mean the th- those big ass fucking AT- what are they called AT was the AT eighties the AT eighties just take those fucks out real quick, bloop, 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 and then just fucking duel it out, then die, because then that, he has more honor. You know yeah, I mean? definitely. And then he still gets to give the fucking dice to Leia. And w- speaking of which, he wasn't even there. So were those like illusion dice? Dude, I don't know. See, you know that's I mean? the thing about the fucking sequels there too. And then you know what? The corniest I have shit too many that questions. they. You know what they did? That's the corniest shit. Flying Leia, Leia flying in what? space. That shit had me dead ass fucking laughing in the straight, fucking theater, bro. Straight Man of Steel, fucking. I was like this. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I didn't understand it either. And I tried to be like, all right, cool. It's a cool way to like remember her as like a powerful. But yeah. nah, because they brought her to die like that. Like boom, I get it, boom. But she didn't. She didn't. Did she end up dying? No, right? She's no. still alive in the movies. Dude, she's, fuck, that's kind of see. That's, and that's weird. That's the creepy part. They keep her alive in the films, and it's fucking weird seeing Carrie Fisher like in the movie, but she's like dead. Like, I mean, dead or alive, that that contract's valid, boy. You know what I mean? Making the money. You signed. Disney. You signed a contract. Disney doesn't give a fuck. You're dead. Fuck, You're still no. gonna work. Walt Disney's fucking frozen. You think they give a shit he's, about? He's talking to dying. Carrie Fisher right now. Like, yo, you gotta yo. get in there and work. Imagine That's they funny. froze with Carrie Fisher, <laughs> staged the death, but nah, hell they're no. all in fucking uh, all uh, the Star Wars cryogenic. People? Yeah, oh, hell no. Yeah, so they could keep making more movies yeah. to, for the next generation. <laughs> Holy shit, that'd be some fucking evil that'd shit be some by Disney. Dark bro. shit, super dark shit. Just all underneath fucking Disneyland, like like every Disneyland in the fucking world, they just have like those stars from that country. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just fucking cryogenically frozen while their fucking Dude. android replacements are just walking around. It's pretending. a it's a shame where you know where the movies led to because there's so many things they could have done instead of sequels. Look, we could have done pre prequels of the Knights of the Old Republic, the days Anything. of like, dude, you know how sick would have been to see the days when there was armies of Sith versus armies of Jedi, like right. just fucking clashing. And plus. Or, what a what? And plus, uh, Liam Neeson is still fucking mad. Exactly, young. dude. Let's get him in Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon yeah. movie. Let's go. Some Clone Wars type shit with Qui Gon. You know? Damn it. Oh well, that wouldn't have worked because he died before they really got the clones going. Yeah, but it still would have been but sick. It would have been sick just war, him like. That's the most brutal part of the fighting war. bounty hunters or some shit. Look, oh, and then we could have had a fucking movie about Republic Commando, bro. Republic Commando movie. That would have been fucking ill as fuck, dude. A Forced Unleashed movie. A movie about Darth oh. Vader's. I know all of these were scrapped due to Disney, but Disney yeah, could have revived them, anymore. dude. They could have revived them in their own way and made something fucking awesome, dude. Actually, you know what? Fuck you. Who the fuck says they can't be canon anymore? Like, like, okay, look. They're canon to me, but according to Disney, the owners of Star Wars, none of that is canon well, not anymore. fuck you. I mean... Fuck, like, <laughs> you fuck, fuck Disney. You know what I mean? No, like, that's what I said too. I who said, says who it's says still canon like, nah. to me? No, nah, it's still can No, but that's what they tried to do. They you said I mean? we own Star Wars now. Whatever we make is Star Wars. The only thing that's that's still Star Wars is the movies. But so any- the, all the books that people spent mad hours <laughs> yep. fucking. They said painfully writing. They said. <laughs> Disney was just like they said a big fuck you. They're like we're taking the monies now. That's fucked up. But apparently we're gonna get a fucking uh, bounty hunter Netflix That's series. And if it's Netflix, that means it's not owned by Disney. So whoever's oh. doing this bounty hunter series isn't Disney. It's weird that you brought up Star Wars because I actually have something to say about Star Wars. What? Fucking. Uh, uh, do you know who uh, Edmund Kemper is? No. Uh, 
Well, he's basically a serial killer. Right? I don't, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. You know what I mean? <coughs> Your shit's mad clogged, bro. Yeah, I, I, packed it, I packed it a little too tight, honestly. Oh, maybe that's why. What were we saying about this guy? He's a serial killer? He's a serial killer. Okay. And so, uh, I don't know if you know the the show Mind Hunters on Netflix. <coughs> yeah, I've never watched it, though. OD Good Show. Give it a check out. Shout out Mind Hunters if you guys want to watch it. Fucking, that show, they they have like a like a portrayal of a, of him, you know what I mean? And like he actually, yeah. and he actually says some stuff in the interview. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Fucking, uh, this fool... Uh, put in like over I think it was like 5,000 hours of like sitting in front of a fucking microphone recording audio books 5,000? yeah like sitting in front of a microphone recording like all at one time 5,000 hours or like total yeah yeah because he's in prison he's he's not going fucking anywhere okay okay you know what I mean so fucking uh, like for audio books for the 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 blind you know what I mean yeah so fucking uh, this fool is creepy as fuck but he reads like one of the Star Wars uh, books Oh god! I don't which one. I don't know which one it is, but like I could just imagine that this was just like one day, the Jedi came, and I killed them all, and fucked their heads. That's he what he said did. that. No, I mean I can imagine him saying. Oh, that. just saying some od crazy ass shit. Because he did. He did fuck heads. Oh god! I'm being serious. Like he would decapitate and then fuck the head, and then fuck the head. He just the it, head. He did it to his moms. No, what do you mean? He did it to his moms. So like. That's so weird. So he killed like eight, I think, eight people in total, and then the last, the last one was his mom's. No oh, man, that's fucking weird. Because th- cause this fool was like, "You hate me." Well, I mean, she she was kind of fucked up. If what he's saying is true, I don't fucking what know. What did she fucking do to him? I'm um, like locked him in a basement and shit like that, and like. So she created this monster. Well, I don't know about that. She she said that she was always afraid <coughs> of of like him like, like being weird towards the the his sisters. Oh, uh, like sexually or like yeah, like creep, that yeah, yeah, like weird yeah, like that. Yeah. You know what I mean, and like fucking. Uh, so I guess maybe she saw it from the fucking very beginning and just fucking decided I can't kill him, so I might as well fucking <laughs> make it worse. I don't know. Jesus Christ! But fucking uh, yeah, thank shit, weird shit. So I want to bring that up because he re- he read a Star Wars book. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> so if I hear now it, now you gotta fucking find the book. I gotta find him reading it. Is the problem? Oh, sirens. Going on. Yeah, I don't know. That sounded like it was, it was like in my head. What do you mean? Like it didn't sound like it was like outside. It sounds like it was in my head. Like, it's in my head. That's why I didn't want to say anything about it. I was like, am I the only one hearing sirens? What the fuck are you even looking at? I'm looking at the notes here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fucking, cause you apparently had mad shit, and I was here talking about serial killers. Fucking. I mean, I got some Christmas notes, but wait, I don't really. Wanna... Wait, did we even talk about uh the what we finished the Star Wars shit? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, hold up. What's this? <laughs> Knowledge is power, yo. That was from... That was a clip from the last podcast. Remember, we had the fucking oh, school rock shit. Oh, I love that. I forgot. I left it in there. It fucking started playing. I was like, what could the fuck? Could have fucking threw a throwback. Fuck it. Fucking, uh... No, but did we finish with the, the, the Star Wars thing you were talking about? How, like... Oh, yeah. I was just hate? saying the movie sucked. You know, like, yeah, in conclusion... Right. I'm, Have I'm, you heard anything about the the new new one that's gonna be? Coming I'm gonna out? watch it just you know yeah, just I, 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 I started now. <laughs> yeah. There's no I, I might as well finish watching them at least. I don't know if I'm gonna actually. I feel buy the same them. way. I might not actually own them though. I'm not. I might not buy them. I still haven't bought. Oh, I have Force Awakens though. I'll tell you this: if Finn doesn't fuck Ray, I'm gonna be mad. Man, Finn still hasn't done anything that cool. He's like boring. He is, he he got saved by that fucking Asian bitch and, so then, and then and I don't remember that was, but, but the, the only one that's kind of interesting like, is Poe, you. but Poe po is not even interesting. He's, I know, but he's he's that was a wild fucking Han Solo knockoff. Ray's whatever too. Ray's too try hard and too. I don't know. Ray, there's something about Ray that just doesn't sit well with me. There's something about Ray that that like she has no lineage. You know what I mean? What like, do you mean? Like okay, like I'm a retard. Par- I don't understand. Like her parents are nobodies. Oh yeah, and like and they so, you know what I think. So who I the think, fuck is she? I don't think they even know. I think they're just fucking with us, and they're just like, we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but let's just keep acting like we know, and then we're gonna fucking like tell them eventually. I don't fucking know. I mean, the main fuck up was uh, that like, they, that they that they gave the second one to a different fucking director. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I feel like if the second one was trashed, I maybe like it would have been would, a little better. But it, it, with JJ Abrams, they would kept him all the way through. Yeah, Abrams was. See, they, that's they why I kind because Force Awakens. I'm, I don't hate it. I think it's okay. But then. Last Jedi, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I can't deal with that. 
it was on some bullshit, dude. Like, I don't know. It really fucks with me that they're doing this to my childhood. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's my childhood. Exactly. Do you know how many fond memories I have of just sitting in my room like, Man. don't do it, Anakin. When we were younger, remember me, you, and Matt? We used to we like, act that shit out, bro. Me and Matt had a fucking... We had the lightsaber. <sighs> fucking dude, nerd status I'm when telling, we were little ass kids. I'm but that was like you, middle school. I am telling but you still. this, okay? Me and Matt had a motherfucking fucking nerd battle, bro. Like, we fucking played the, the, the Mustafar scene because me and him both knew it by heart. He was fucking Anakin. I was playing... Uh, yeah. No, I was playing Anakin. He was playing Obi-Wan. Yeah. And fucking Padme was just the fucking TV. Dude, I remember Matt. All right, go ahead. I'll tell you after. No, yeah. And then, like, and like we were just sitting there like, if, if you're not with me, then you're, you're my me. enemy. <laughs> like, Only Sith deals and absolutes. Oh, <laughs> classic. Yeah, you know what I mean? Dude, Matt, Matt had it the dopest lit. lightsaber. He was the first one to get the pop-up one. Yo, he did. Oh, my God. I remember because he got it, like, right when it came out. Because before, it was just, you know, you had to go like that, and the fucking shit would pop out. But Matt was the first one to get the one where you just push the fucking button, and then it's like, boom. Like this fucking spring like a action. boner. It's like, you're right in the morning. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> nah, but those shits were tight. And then yeah. they fucking came out with the same shit, but this time it lights up. Like, so it sprung out and it lit oh, up. Oh, you're right. <clears throat> Whatever happened to those like those, those like ones that were just like one big piece and then went. Oh, the they still sell those, bro. Those are. I'm fucking trying to cop hard. some of those. I want to get Yoda's. I want to get two small. of them. You know what I want to do? I want to get two. So like in my little studio setup, I have one on each side and it just like light, use them as lights. <sighs> That's hard. Be lit. That's literally hard. lit. That would be literally lit, my friend. Do they have more or is it just the same bullshit? Like no, they got a Yoda. bunch, bro. They got Vader. They, they got, got Mace. Yeah, dude. It's a they rap. sure do. It's a wrap. Mace has always been my favorite fucking character. One, Samuel L. Jackson. It's the real one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every He's a real one because he's like, I want a purple light. So they're like, all right, I guess we could fucking make purple. Is that why? Yeah, he's the one that requested purple. That was George Lucas idiot. was like, you get blue. And he's Is like, <laughs> motherfucker. I could just imagine how yeah. that went. He was probably like, "Like, here's your lightsaber. And then he's looking at it, the color and shit. Motherfucker. I don't want I, no motherfucking... I said I want a purple one. Yeah. We don't do purple. George, I only made blue and green for the Jedis. <laughs> Motherfucker, if you don't make a purple lightsaber right... Hey, we got it. We need a purple lightsaber for Mr. Jackson. Is he the one that, like... No, nah, I'm just playing. That, like, fucking unleashed all Much the respect fucking... to George Lucas. I'm, I don't, that's not what he sounds like at all. I want one if you want. <laughs> talking to, I can see him talking like that, too. Just him, fucking pushing his eyeglasses. What were you saying, show? though? My bad. Is he the one that opened the door for like all the all the different colors, or was it? I, was I don't know about that, but thing? it's a possibility because he's the one that requested purple. So maybe they were like, "Oh, we could use fucking yellow and orange and yeah, right, black and, and black and black is tight. I like using that in oh, red. Has always been one of my red. Hell yeah, dude! I'll tell you what, I like Kylo Ren's lightsaber about? a lot, though. I don't. I like it. It's cool. It's unstable, so it looks all crazy, and it looks like a legit sword. I don't know. It's cool. It's a cool saber. I, I think I think that's cool that they tried to do something like when they brought Maul out and he had the double and I don't understand the cross guard. And no one does, but it's okay. It looks kind of cool. That's all that matters. It, it looks cool. That's it. Does it prevent like no your hands from getting cut you off? You can maybe shank somebody with it or something, but there's no point. They're kind of pointless, man. It is right. <laughs> yeah, but it looks kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I, I fucking love those memes though, where it was just like fucking wild, different shit. Like it would be like a fork. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. shit. Damn, that was wild. That was mad creepy. Did anything happen? I don't know. Let's find out. Find out. That was kind of... Oh, shit. Oh, that's all right. It lagged. It's all good. I ain't even fucking really tripping. That was weird, though. I'll fucking tell you that. What was that? I don't know. No, we're on the internet. Hold on. We should be fine. Well, anyways, fucking... Let's get off fucking Star Wars. I was gonna ask you, what's so? What, you got any favorite Christmas movies? Yeah. What's your? Fa- I I actually do have a favorite Christmas movie. I do. What's actually, yours though? Uh, a Christmas Story. Ah, same same here, Word? man. That's my favorite I movie. Feel like, I feel like that's world renowned. Mother, okay, that's why you're my fucking homie. That's what I'm saying. Like, I love that movie just because. Uh, <coughs> it's so good. The the narration. Yeah, I'm gonna check the it's camera. Hilarious. Okay. Keep talking though. Yeah, the fucking narration is hilarious. I mean, like like this will be like, oh my gosh, I did it. Yeah. I shot my eye out, but I couldn't tell my mother, blah, 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 blah. And, like, it was, like, when was that movie supposed to be even set in, like, the fucking, uh, the 80s, uh, the fucking 70s? What, when was uh, that supposed to? Not, 
dude. Like the 50s? When the fuck was that supposed to be set in? I don't fucking know. I think like 50s or 60s. Like it has to be a while Some though. shit like that. Th- that video's still good. It's just my laptop. So we're fine. Because you could tell that the dad <clears throat> physically beat the shit out of both those kids. What? You know what I mean? What do you mean? Nah, he seemed chill. He like bought them like, the BB and everything, mate. No, trust. You think so? You think there's a dark like theory behind it? All right, cool. I like this. I Let, let's go. Dark theories on a Christmas store. I love it. I can see the because think let's about hear it. it. He he bought the motherfucking uh, the fucking the 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 fucking leg lamp. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And then like the like the wife's like get rid of that. This fool never got rid of it. Wanna why? Why? Weirdo. We probably had a fucking couple fucking little kid bodies in the basement, tied up. Nah, I'm fucking around. Nah, but I don't know about all that. <laughs> nah, but fucking, but I'm, I'm being serious about fucking beating the fucking shit out of uh, Georgie. Well, why, do you, why, well, do you, why do you think he beat the shit out of Georgie? Georgie and the other kid? Well, the other kid, I think, was like a little too little. young. Okay, so just Georgie? Just Georgie, because Georgie was getting out of line. You know what I mean? So I, I like, and plus he was, he was good, quote unquote, you know what I mean? But only at the house, you know what I mean? And why was he so afraid <clears throat> of the dad, you know what I mean? He kind of was, right? Why couldn't you tell the dad? Yo. I shot my eye out. Oh, I know. Why? Because he beat the shit out of you with the belt. Yeah, what the fuck did I tell you? Just. <laughs> Yo, is it just me or was that Santa scene like the weirdest shit where he just with like. The ho, 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 ho. Yeah. It's like, yo, chill. Yeah, look, we got to pull up some of this shit now. I don't fucking. Uh, I don't fucking completely get that story even to this day. Like, is it literally just uh, revolved around a BB gun? Uh, it's just a, uh, basically just a. Uh, Around some kid's life and, you know, a kid's Christmas, I guess. Like, how a kid is for Christmas, excited for something he really wants. Like, hoping he gets it or not. He doesn't know if he's going to get it or not. But, you know, it's just all the elements of Christmas as a kid. You know what I mean? He went to the parade. He went to the mall for shopping. You meet Santa Claus. Christmas morning, you get the presents. Like, it's just all of the things you go through as a kid. And including getting that ass beat on fight. (laughs) Pretty much. It ends off with them eating at, like, a Chinese restaurant, huh? Oh shit, you're right. That's fucking wild that you remember that. I haven't seen that movie in a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna just skim through some episodes. Just fucking. <laughs> them episodes? <laughs> I mean, clips. I like, this is a fucking if it worked, I don't know. This shit acting mad weird. Well, I don't think it's gonna work. Why's that? Because there was a nice little surge, I guess. I don't know what the fuck happened. You know what I mean? For I mean, we're still connected. If yeah, for for the for the listeners, there was a power surge that like was like real quick. That was like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like I thought I was about to see a fucking kakui or some shit. You know what I mean? Just fucking roll up like, hey, I'm here to fucking beat your ass. Like the yeah, low key, I thought some shit was gonna go down with the kakui. I was like, I was like, bruh, what's this? What's that saying? Oh, we got. I don't know. Is that Spanish? Is this the movie like fast forward? Oh, okay. It's like. It's like every time they say Christmas, it gets faster. There's just some clips from the movie. Damn, this shit's mad laggy. This was just like, yo, let me tell you one thing real quick. Look at his face, too. He's like, I'm, see, look, he's definitely getting his ass beat. Ah, <laughs> oh, <The> come <laughs> That's what it sounded like. That's what it was. I'm telling you. There's a the dark side of this movie. It's like a, it's like a playing records backwards. If, if a fucking movie stalls out and says wild shit. You know what I mean about the fucking narration? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like the old man's voice and yeah, shit. See, like look, these older. are just little clips. It's like the Sandlot. How the fuck is your mom going to remember all that, kid? I don't even understand what the fuck he just said. It's like, bruh. I was like, bitch, I'm making macaroni and cheese. Will you relax? <laughs> we could barely afford spam. I remember that me. fucking part so funny. He's just like hella strapped that up with. That like fucking walking like a fucking with his arms all out and shit. Can't that fucking fool. put him down. Fuck it. This one just cries the whole movie. I bet you that was inspiration for the stop. Stop. I bet oh, you we just didn't know it. We just didn't know it subconsciously. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. That's a possibility. Uh, that's the kid that gets his fucking dick stuck to the pole, and I'm fucking around. <laughs> his tongue. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's gonna do it right now. I think. Says me, you little puss. Here we go. It's gonna freeze. Never mind. Yo, they got. Like, he's like fucking triple dog. Got to do it now. Yeah. Oh. These fools look like they're living in the fucking <laughs> depression. Like, tell me why. <laughs> I'm telling you, this shit's like the 50s or shit. Because there's not even TV, if you notice, in this movie. So it has to be before TV. I think there is TV. Nah, he only listens to the radio. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Why well, I got to go to fucking class, jerk off? <laughs> oh, man. But did they tell the teacher? 
dude, that's the most fucked up. You know up what that part? reminds me of? Remember Tony Hawk Pro Skater Three? The dude, he like he stuck on the thing, and if you grind next to him, you rip his tongue off the. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. It's on part I do, three. I do, I do it's the that. second level. What the fuck? That's fucking wild. You guys gotta write a fucking letter now, boy. Well, fucking let. Oh, to Santa? No. Oh, never mind. I guess yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's. Yeah, fuck this. But yeah, that's the movie right there, man. It's yeah. a good movie. A uh, Christmas Story quickie. Told you there's a dark fucking. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, fucking uh, right. uh, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying really to really support my theory. I'm trying really hard to support my theory. Dude, yeah, this was always my favorite, man. Like every, t- I remember TBS used to show it every year. I'm, I'm pretty sure they still do. Dude, they would literally pass it all night long, like over and over again. I loved it. I would fall asleep watching it, wake up early fucking morning, Christmas, Christmas morning, and I'm watching some more while I open some presents, like. Do you want to? Uh, I I also fuck with those uh, those claymation joints. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, the old school ones. Like yeah, the like, I know what you're talking about. Like, like the one that had like the fire guy. Yeah, and the, the ice fool. That shit was tight. Like I don't know what that was supposed to. No, be I know exactly. I don't, me either, but but I'm with it. Or, I, it was I, like an ice king or something. I think shit. it was like summer and winter. I don't fucking know. I really don't remember. Was it? Was it the seasons? I think it was supposed to be some seasons. But some when shit? I was a kid, I'm on like, oh shit, that's fucking Satan, dog. Yeah, low key, that's what I was thinking all the time. Straight up, well, cause wh- why else would this fool have hair that looks like it's on fucking fire unless he's fucking? Yeah, and it looked like he was theory. in hell and shit. Yeah, is that? <laughs> that it did. I mean, that fool looked like he was like in hell slash fucking chilling with fucking. Uh, I almost said Freddie Mercury, fucking uh, <laughs> Freddie fucking uh, Krueger, cause it looked like Freddy a fucking, fucking uh, Krueger. It looked like a fucking boiler room almost. Yeah. <laughs> It really did. But fucking, uh, I don't know. But I fuck with those claymation joints, I guess. Those I fuck cool. with a Christmas story a fucking whole lot. I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's not really a lot of fucking Christmas movies, to be honest with you. Like, th- like I remember there was, a, like, scary ones. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, uh, like, Black Christmas. Oh, yeah. And then there was... Uh, Santa Slay. Santa Slay. That one's hilarious. And fucking Jack Frost. But, oh, Jack Frost. But the, the I mean, killer yeah, Jack yeah, Frost. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know which one. But even though the other Jack Frost is... Creepy as fuck. Fuck yeah. St- I'd be like, like imagine, imagine, no. imagine shaking a, the snowman. <laughs> imagine you go through a fucking traumatic experience as your dad dying, and then fucking a fucking snowman that you and your dad built together just randomly goes. I'm hey, your dad. I, yeah, I'd go. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's El Diablo. <laughs> yeah, I'm being the fuck out of. I would you. think it's like the devil trying to pretend to be my my dad in the snow. And then do you know what happens? He dies again. <laughs> yeah, he does. Huh? He melts. <laughs> Like, what the... You want to put this kid through a double death? Oh, shit. That's fucked up, man. You can't do that to a kid. I don't even know how how, how old is he. Probably, like, 13. This fool had to deal with his dad dying twice in a row. In different ways. Damn, that's terrible. This will probably grow to be, like, a fucking wild fucking schizophrenic. Like, my dad's a snowman. My dad's a snowman. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wild my freaking... My dad's a snowman. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> my dad's a fucking snowman he just melted he'll be back don't tell me winter's coming it's like oh shit <laughs> yeah for sure some <laughs> it's like oh my god you see movies like that happen and they don't think about the realism they don't. of it oh the gingerbread man too remember that one a gingerbread man it was like a killer gingerbread man he was OD oh big. yeah nah i'm thinking about the other one <laughs> it's like part of the same filmmakers as like the the evil the Jack bong and shit <laughs> 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 this is like there's a gingerbread one Fuck, honestly, like, I remember there was, uh, there was this one where, like, he had, like, fucking candy canes for teeth also, but they're fucking wicked sharp. Like, yo, I'm about to eat you and your fucking kids tonight. It's like, oh, shit. And they always had wild, corny ass fucking <coughs> sayings and shit. <laughs> you know, right? <coughs> they always had wild, corny sayings like, uh, <coughs> it looks like this Christmas it's gonna be <coughs> bloody a blizzard or some shit. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. It's gonna be how a bloody long? blizzard. It's like, how long did that take you to fucking come up with that in the writers' room, <coughs> dude? Yeah, there's not a lot. I'm gonna be honest. Like, like I said, it's not because I'm a hater for Christmas, <laughs> oh, fuck. but My bad. there's not a lot of good Christmas movies. There's a lot of corny and boring ones. And well, because Christmas isn't really <coughs> fucking like something you could really write about. Christmas, you know what? Christmas you know what? All around, you know, boring. movie started off really funny and great, and has a Christmas version that sucks. And I thought it was really boring. Huh. Friday after next. Oh yeah, so boring. Yeah, that you know, boring. I I seen the first two, and I remember when I saw the third one, had very little interest in it. I seen it, and I was like, ah, whatever. 
so boring. Like, and then they added like way too many like characters you didn't give a fuck about in that one. It's like they did. Like, I just want to see Debo still in bikes, <laughs> and hey, that's my grandma. <coughs> See, and you can't have a... Like, the other Friday was cool, too, but it didn't have that other food that's like, damn. Yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, what was his fucking name? Uh, Chris Tucker. No, 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 but his in the movie, I forget uh, his fucking name. Smokey. Smokey, yeah. Because he was always smoking. Yeah. That was like, he was wink. smoking all that food that shit. Like, I got don't no give job. a fuck. You, you got, got no job. Yeah, you got nothing like to do. Yeah. So why not fucking smoke? It was like, yeah, or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. I would do the same thing. It's like, Friday. You ain't got no job. You ain't got nothing to do. If I was Ice Cube, I would smoke, too. I'd be like, yo. Pass the spliff this way, cousin. The first two are funny though. For the second one's like not as good as the first, but it's still it's an okay movie. I don't know. Uh, that's the one that has the troll. It has the fucking uh, I feel like, I little feel like, jokers. I, yeah, I feel like the first one you can't beat. Like, oh hell no! They have little Hector in that one, bro. You can't beat little oh, Hector. Oh shit! Hey, Is little that who Hector. That was? Yeah. Do I know who I thought that was? Who? Little Rob. Nah, little heck. The fucking uh, when the sun goes down <laughs> and we're ready to party. Hey, you'd be wrong if you thought uh, that. Something, the something, summer nights. It's fucking. I be chilling at my home. Fucking got the crew on the little, phone. Nah, no, fool, it's little Hector, bro. Don't don't Polishing get it twisted. The cr- oh, wait, what did I said already. Don't get it fucking twisted, dog. It's little Hector. Don't disrespect my boy like that. My bad, dude. Fucking ne- next confusing thing. Confusing them for these whack ass fools, dog. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just playing. My bad. Last time I checked, fucking Lil Rob had platinum fucking I'm hits. I'm kidding. No disrespect. Lil Rob is. No disrespect, Lil Rob. I don't, don't want you toss, coming at me. Look, I'm barely, like I'm barely trying to start my music career, bro. Don't be fucking coming at me dude, like that, bro. I you, love you. I'm I don't, not going to lie. I'll battle Lil Rob. <laughs> All right, fuck. I guess I got to do it too. Let's go. We'll bring him into the podcast room. I'll and f- we'll do I'll it right here. Look, we got I'll the mic battle. right here. We got the other mic I right there. I will battle. If anybody knows Little Rob, like if if you're, if you're like one of those fools, like, fool, Little Rob is my uncle. <coughs> Fucking hit us yeah. up. <laughs> Tell him to come through to the podcast. Let, let him Speaking know. Speaking of which, we got to start. MC, battle me. Look, once we get the mixer. We gotta start bringing like legit people in here, man. That should be legit fucking people? like. Okay, I don't like mean just some fool off the street. We've had legit ass uh, people, but I mean like, yeah, we should bring that base head in here. Which one? The one that's just like that. That always has the fucking uh, <laughs> that has the fucking blanket over his head and just like <laughs> fucking no. out. <laughs> no, I don't mean no. We gotta try. He's to, a like, real person. We gotta try to emo like some some people. Like, like fucking Stan Lee, you know, like Stan- <laughs> you dickhead. Yeah, too soon. <laughs> R.I.P. Stanley. I love you, baby. Come on, yeah. don't say shit like that. I mean, I'm not like being like fuck Stanley. I'm fucking just saying. Like, I wish I would. No, I mean, like not yet. like we were talking about getting what's his face the food review. Oh, dude, review, bro. I'm pretty sure if we email him, we can maybe. Ch- I don't know where's he from. Tennessee. We we'll have to fuck fly him it. out of he, here. He's uh, he's YouTube famous. He has money. To, Fucking, I'll be like, quit playing <laughs> with me, dog. I know you have money. If anything, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you pay to get over here and get the fuck out of my house. Fuck it. If it's not that expensive, I will pay for him to be on this fucking podcast because that shit would be gold, bro. I love food, bro. I would talk to him about that shit all day. We could even buy food and eat with him. I'm telling you what, I'm that bring- shit would be mad legit, bro. I'm bringing a fucking bucket of fucking KFC, just put plop it on the nah, middle of the table. Nah, fuck KFC, Popeyes, baby. Uh, well, e- either way. Either way, it's fine with me. Comment down below, Popeyes or KFC or churches or churches. Yeah, I was about to say. I've never had churches, you so had I church cannot chicken? say. Popeyes is always crispy and spicy, baby. Come on now. <laughs> I know that's what I like on my two? chicken. One of the two. Yeah. One of the two. I'm a Mexican, but I love fried chicken, bro. I don't like the Mexican chicken to be honest. It's more, it's healthier because it's, it's like grilled. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. grilled chicken with seasonings and herb. But nah, dog, I need the fried chicken, my boy. Yeah. I need that fried chicken. It's that good. It's that good. Skin. Dude, nah, but you know what I really like other than fried chicken? Like mm-hmm. more. I like, first of all, wings, bone in. But when I'm trying to go boneless, I go for uh, chicken tenders, dog. Dude, at my work, yo, I'm not going to say where I work because oh, I haven't yet. So, by the way, my boss somehow knows I have a podcast. This was just like. My you- boss, he, I came into work and he goes, you have a podcast? I'm like. What and the then fuck? it was him and two other like leads. You told have you told anybody at your work? Nah. <laughs> then that's wild. Way. I don't know how I found out. Google your name is maybe. Shit. I am Google famous if you search my name up. Google. I'm Google famous as fuck. Official. What do you want? But nah, he's like, you have a podcast. I was like, yeah. He's like, that's freaking cool, man. He was like, he was like hyped about it. So he was being. I was like, oh fuck it, that's tight. He likes that. Podcast. Was like, let me Yo, get on. I have a tell me why. Boy. Tell me why today I'm in my room chilling, right? Mm-hmm. 
And uh, I hear something outside, like someone talking, and it's just the mailman with the JBL speaker. This was <laughs> blasting not music, but Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, lit! No, I was I was about to record it for Reddit, but I didn't have my phone near me. I would have been like, "Damn, even the mailman's fucking bumping Joe Rogan." Yeah, you could have put that on fucking uh, uh, R uh, slash fucking JRE. <sighs> Next time, it's, uh, it's the same mailman, so I'll get I'll catch him again. Hopefully, he's listening to Joe Rogan. That slipping. shit was funny, dude. I just heard. I was like, "What the fuck." I was like, that's tight. That's fucking weird. Dude, I'm telling you, bro, podcast is the new thing, bro. People are getting onto the podcast. People uh, That's yeah. why who is you had to hop on that shit right now before it becomes too Yeah, but too mainstream. too fucking mainstream. Trying to get there first, you know what I mean? And plus motherfuckers always tell me I have a fucking voice for radio. You really do, bro. I don't know about me, but you definitely do. <clears throat> I I don't know about all that, but I know for a fact that you are fucking uh a wonderful fucking uh co-host you know thank I mean? you man i enjoy i enjoy fucking spending i'm the co-host time. slash uh i mean we're both we're both co-hosts you know I mean? yeah like it's not like one of us is like yo i'm the host well, you're like the co-host. I, like eat i eat my fucking dick <laughs> like i said it's like h3's podcast you know yeah which is cool because like when we don't have a guest it's cool we can still it's still two two, two people not just one fucking maniac talking about himself like bill burr <laughs> <laughs> fucking bill burr yeah but he's entertaining man yeah that yeah i mean like yeah, Joe Rogan never does anything alone. Huh? It's always with somebody. Uh, Dude, he interviews in fucking Damn, awesome. What's going on, motherfuckers? Getting clapped around here? Jesus Christ! It's what happens when you live in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> fucking block us out. <laughs> I'll fucking tell you what though. Fucking, uh, I don't know. Fucking, uh, there's only a couple fucking podcasts that I can legit be like I'm interested in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like, listen to many. I just listen really to H three to find like people that are like like legit. Like you can keep. Like, there's some that I save, but I don't keep up with them. It's just certain ones that I like to listen to. But the ones that I keep up with is just the Joe Rogan one and the H3. And now, the one I was telling you about that Blumhouse has hosted by uh, some other dude. I was about to say that Satanic one. No, no, no. Uh, I got to send you screenshots of that one, though. Yeah, fucking let me know. I'm fucking trying to uh, see what's up with that Blumhouse one. That's what I'm talking you, about. You said it's weird and wild, right? It is, but I forgot the name, so I'm going to have to send you to th- send you that later. I'm going to talk about that next time. Definitely, definitely. I'm with it. Fucking, uh, but yeah, dude, Christmas is coming, and what are you doing for Christmas? <coughs> You're going to be here at the casa? Probably the same thing I did fucking last Christmas. <coughs> fucking last Christmas, I had a fucking, uh, that was my first year with the fucking record player. Oh, sick. So what I did was I fucking uh, uh, like brought it out into the, the fucking living room. And like I was the first one up because my sleep schedule is yeah it's fucked. hella fucked up. So I'm always fucking up and fucking. Uh, so I brought the fucking uh, the record player out into the fucking living room and I and I bought like previously uh like a grip of fucking Christmas joints. Yeah. So <laughs> that's how I woke everyone up. I just fucking was playing fucking. It's beginning to look a lot like <laughs> just Christmas. hella Christmas songs coming out. And then everyone woke Yo, up in a good ass mood and shit. Pass me the water. Fuck the lighter. I oh. want the water. I got the caught him off like a motherfucker. Get that water, then. Get that water. You gotta stay hydrated, my G. Ain't no point to fucking dehydrating yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm fucking saying. Fucking, uh... Well, fucking... What, uh, what, are, what are you about to do fucking for Christmas? You, you oh, any, shit. You got any fucking um, special plans? I'll probably just have my girl come over and shit. And just kick it with my mom, my dad, and my girl. Melissa said she was gonna try to come through, so I don't know if she's gonna end up coming through, but we'll see. Hey, you never know. Fucking your boy might come through and sing some Christmas carols at the doorstep. <laughs> fucking Christmas carols. Oh shit! I just hit my fucking head on the shit like twice. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, has that ever felt like? No, it. I think it happened to every podcast already. You gotta like. I hit my tooth one time and it was fucking wild, painful. Freaking. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Wait, what? Did you, what were, were you asking me something? No, I said because I was looking at the notes. How about you? Oh. Uh, but were you asking me something? No, I said I hit my tooth on the fucking... How the fuck do you hit your tooth? Because I was talking and then I went, drink, like a fucking dumbass. It's probably drunk. Stupid ass fool. You know me. Man, so one one thing uh, I wanted to talk about too, because this bugs me a lot. Sure. And I got to put it out there on a the platform as well. Okay. It's about a genre that I fucking love to death as well. <laughs> okay. And they just fucking took it away from me. Oh, no. Like nothing. What and that's it? Ash versus Evil Dead, bro. Hasn't that been, like, discontinued? It's been discontinued, but I'm still upset. I don't give a fuck. I'm still upset. Because, look, NECA's still releasing a bunch of cool Ash versus Evil Dead figures, and I'm over here collecting them, and I'm just thinking, like, man, the fucking show, dog. Well, I mean, not for nothing. Why don't don't you fucking write a little something? You know what I mean? They're not going to listen to me. No, you just write. Like, no, because this is how it works in fucking Hollywood, Mike. I'm I'm not sure if you know. But 
Mo- <coughs> most of the directors that direct shit, yeah, they don't fucking write shit, son. Like they'll be like, "Yo, I like, I like this fucking, uh, I like this fucking screenplay someone wrote. Let me buy it off them." They'll buy it off them, give them the, give them the money and the and the fucking credit, and then boom, their like their name is in fucking the the billboard. Fucking uh, Guillermo del Toro, fucking uh, directed <coughs> Machete Five. You swear to God, I mean, maybe he did write that. Hey, because, I never because I'm gonna be honest. Actually, I never no, he watched. didn't. No, that was Robert Rodriguez. What am I fucking talking about? Giving Guillermo del Toro the fucking Get credit? Get fucking wrecked, bro. Let me slap myself across the face one time. <laughs> that was two times. Fucking uh, no, but but for, for like for the most part, like like Shape of Water. And like shit like that, like those are like books and shit. You yeah. know what I mean, that are like adapted into. Oh yeah, movie, but that's know? easy. Honestly, if you think about it, you just read the book and then you, okay, do this. <laughs> no, but but what I'm saying is like if you come up with like a good <clears throat> ass storyboard for fucking like like a reason for Ash and the Evil Dead to come back. Oh yeah. Like you can get like a like a guy uh, like, that looks like <clears throat> Ash. You know what I mean, because that was probably old. No, nah, he. Right now. The reason why it's canceled is well, he was in the show. What do you mean? Is he old? How old yeah. is he? I'm asking. Well, have you never seen the show? I've only seen the fucking uh, movies. Okay, look, let me explain to you what the fuck the show is about then. Mm. God damn it. Because you're obviously confused, okay? Are they the same? It's the same actor. It's Bruce Campbell, my boy. How, so how old? That's my question. How old is this Okay, let me explain to you what happens in the fucking but show. But how old is he is my question. And then you can explain. This is why I'm explaining so oh, you know how old okay, he is. Okay, so we, we got to stupid go. fuck. Fuck, sorry, go. Okay, look. I'm not, I'm not about to do math, though. It's Evil did one, two, three, end of three, uh, you know, Ash fucking goes <laughs> back to normal and shit or whatever, right? Uh-huh. So at the beginning of the show, the reason why he has to fight evil again is because he gets very fucking stoned. After he bangs his chick, <clears throat> fair enough, and he starts reading from it because he's really high. I'm an idiot. Yeah, so then he fucking doesn't what? realize what he's doing and reads more and more and more, and then the evil comes back. Do you see how dumb of a plot that is? No, you, the, you could come up with some of that shit, taking a shit on the toilet, my guy. Damn it, well, okay, look, that's not the point. No, but I'm saying the point I'm, is I'm the plot. The plot was stupid, definitely, but <clears throat> when it started going into everything, it was so good, bro. Because like, I, so this is like 30 years <laughs> later, bro. And this goes into depth with like what what happened where he came from. You you end up meeting in season three. You meet his fucking dad. You end up finding out he has a dad. Everybody thinks that everyone calls him Ashy Slashy because they think he was a serial killer. They think he murdered everyone in the cabin. Oh shit! But then season three comes, and the evil gets to the city, and everyone starts seeing that there's actually demons, and mm-hmm. they see that Ash is like a hero. So. Going back to season one, Ash has to fight these things again, and he's like hell out of shape. He's older now, like he's old, bro. Like, look, let me show you a, a picture. Why do I? Why do I remember like it being like in the in the medieval ages? Because that was part three when he goes back. He goes back in time with the book. I didn't like that one. No, it was good. It, it had a, that was that was the army of darkness. That was Ash versus army of darkness. I was like, why the fuck? <laughs> I was I'm like, a big why? fan of that shit. I was like, why are we why are we going back on some fucking uh, Monty Python type shit? <laughs> Like that's just a flesh wound. I'm telling you, my guy. Fuck it. Are you looking to look it up? I'm just gonna show you what he looks like in the show, cause I'm okay. trying to see what he looks like now. If that, that full... well, yeah, the show ended just like a year or two ago. You know, is that that was like? Four yeah, years nah, ago. it was not that long. I don't know. It seems like a while ago to me. Maybe I'm just fucking tripping. You are tripping. Cause I. I'm going to say you're tripping because I've been up to date with this shit for a long time. Cause I'm a crazy fucking fanatic for Evil Dead. I'm not gonna say you're lying, cause I believe you. But. Why don't you just look? Oh, no, I forgot your phone's over there. <laughs> Duh. The phone's the camera. The phone's the cami. So, I just want to know what Fuck you, like helicopter so damn, son. See, you can't be doing nothing in the fucking suburbs, bro. The suburbs? Nah, we do it. What, where are we in? We're just we're in the valley. I okay, suburbs, yeah. huh? We're in the fucking valley, I, dog. I don't know what the fuck you consider that. Suburbs would be like kind of where Matt lives, I guess. Nah, that's like, like those like say, type of townhomes, right? Like say that. A those like little, Yeah, that's what I mean. Though I always picture a suburb like a fucking I mean, cul de sac. That's what they like on like going back to Friday. You know, next Friday they they refer to that area as a suburb area because it's like a gated community kind of thing. And then I don't know, fucking. I always picture a cul de sac when I think of suburbs. Damn, like this is awesome. And Eddie. Like Ed and Eddie. You know what I mean? But look, going back to the show. Yeah. Okay. I'm so pissed at the what ended. the fuck? So this shit. How did how did it end? Is my question. So okay, here's that's what spoiler pisses me alert. off. This is what pisses me off. Spoiler: If you haven't seen the show and you want to, stop the podcast now. It's live though, so you might want to just leave. Or just listen. It doesn't really matter. 
Yeah. So basically, <laughs> season one, he uh, realizes he has to fight the evil again, and he gets his chainsaw back and everything, right? Okay. He gets his chainsaw back. And then he, he now he has two sidekicks in the show, which at first sound really stupid, but throughout the show, they gain a lot of like strength after the experiences they go through with the, Ash. The, the demons? Are yeah, like... they fucking end up becoming these cool demon killers because they're with Ash, so they start learning a lot. And plot twist, Pablo, the Escobar. little... Nah, Pablo, the fucking <clears throat> kid that's with them, his uncle's like a brujo, which is like a... Like a witch, but, a witch, but he, a he does witchcraft and shit. So he ends up after his uncle dies like in I season know. one, he ends up gaining powers all that shit. So by season three, he's hella OP. Like this guy, like knows all these spells and shit. But it's it's realistic spells. He does. He's not firing anything out of his hands. He's like, you know, like an insidious when the old lady can like envision shit and see the future, like shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So it ends up getting really interesting. So check this out. This right here. Mm -hmm. See, this is. Uh, I don't know why, but that kind of reminds me of Hellboy. Hellboy, yeah, because the wizard. It's a good show, man. The and then wizard. by season three, like I said, he's in the city, and they realize he's just a hero, and like everyone praises him and shit. And like, dude, by season three, this motherfucker's fighting demons the size of Godzilla. Do you want this to make? It gets crazy, bro. It's like a good game. Yeah, dude. Like a hack and slash. Oh my god, that would be sick, dude. Like just give him the fucking uh, the, the chainsaw and shit like that, and fucking uh, this fucker just go along getting a. Uh, Different fucking weapons. You know what I'm right. saying? Like the original hacky slashies. Oh no. I almost dropped this fucking what? Oh, that's, fuck. that's what he looks like in the show. See, he's kind of, he's pretty old already. Why does that fool look like. Hold up. Let me get closer. Look. Oh no. Okay. I'm tripping. I, th <laughs> I thought that fool had a wild mustache. Ha, <laughs> you're dumb. I was like, that fool looks like. Uh, you have got to be the dumbest son of a bitch. I can't think of who the fuck he who would look like with a mustache though. Fuck. Ah, it's gonna kill me. Oh well, I don't care. I'll figure it out later but on tonight. It's a good show, you. dude. It's a really good show, and I'm really pissed off that. And so where it ends is uh, at the so he ends up finding out. I'm gonna leave this picture of him here. So while we talk, beautiful. I love to see a picture of a Bruce Campbell of a grown man. And you gotta remember, he's also the voice in the tutorial for Spider Man Two for PlayStation Two. Oh yeah, you're right. And the PlayStation One. I remember you saying so, that. So, Bruce Campbell, man, great guy. Um, he wanted to retire early. No, that's cool. Just leave it. So, fuck, he wanted to retire early and shit. Right. So, they ended the show early. They were supposed to have two more seasons, which would have had five total, but it went to three. So, end of season mm -hmm. three, long story short, he's got a daughter now that he didn't know about. And the the mom, because wow. he, he was it's after, after, nah. After he came back and he went back to the city, he was just banging chicks left and right. He's like a pimp, bro. He He's not tied down to any chick. Like, in the... He's reckless as fuck. Like, he's he's a fucking... He's like Deadpool, bro. He acts just like Deadpool. Like, real careless. Lives a real, like, dirty lifestyle in the trailer. Like, he's doesn't... Like gets real fucked up all the time. Smokes hella weed. Drinks a lot. <laughs> like, he's one of those fools. He's fucking hilarious, bro. Like, the, it's a horror comedy. And, dude, the effects are fucking amazing. They do not hold back. There's, like, right. titties. It, there's blood. There's... It, is it practical effects, though? Or is it, like, CGI? Mostly practical. A little bit of CGI, because there's, like I said, monsters the size of Godzilla at the end of oh, season oh, three. Yeah. So, that, that has to be Godzilla. So, it, it's a real cool show, dude. Like, all the effects are crazy. There's a bunch of plot twists. A bunch... It goes in depth with the book of the of the oh, dead the, and shit. The, like, the necrocomic dude, level? it's on Netflix. Watch, please. Watch it's this shit. It's on Netflix? Shit. Yeah, no, you I'll have to watch it. If it, was, if it was on Netflix, if, I would have said no. I mean, I think it is, so find it. Look I, it up. I don't doubt. I've probably seen it. If not, I'm going to end up buying them on Blu-ray. So, Dude, you have to watch it, man. Well, not, I mean, I've probably seen a couple like minutes, and I was just like, boom. Nah, trust you. It's because season one starts out really slow, but season two and three, fucking awesome. Kicks it so up. this is what pissed me off. Okay. At the end of season three, this is what happens. They get into the fight in the city with all these demons and shit. He's with his daughter. So he gets a daughter because he was banging chicks left and right, and there's one chick that ends up being like a chick he hooked up with once and he, she has a daughter and the daughter's already old like fucking 15 because this right. is 30 years after all that shit oh shit so this girl's 15 or some no older like 18 19 i don't know whatever it doesn't matter right. has a daughter and at the end he's with the daughter and she ends up growing a connection with him and they bond and it's beautiful and shit and then he's got his two sidekicks they all get away and then uh they all leave because the big ass monster comes yeah. and then he's about to fight it and he defeats it but then he like blacks out and then when he wakes up again, he's in this futuristic chamber, and they take him out. 
Wow. They and hit, then they hit they hit you with that. It was all a dream. No, 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 no. It wasn't a dream. He, he basically he was asleep for a while, but they got him back to life. And he wakes up in an apocalyptic world where demons are like taking over the world and shit. It ends on some dope shit, on some Max Payne shit. This fool ends up getting in his car, but it's more pimped out, like a death right. ma- death racing machine type shit. And it just ends with him saying like "fucking groovy" or whatever, right. zooming in on his face, groovy. and then and then it ends because that's his catchphrase, you know. That's what he says. That's it's his fucking sick. catchphrase. It's like far out. So. It zooms in on his face and it ends, and that's the end of the whole shit now. But it was supposed to end there, and then season four was supposed to be like an apocalyptic, like that's weird setting. It was supposed to be like some Max Payne shit, some futuristic, apocalyptic, demonic, end of the world type war type shit. Yeah, that's fucking weird. They were gonna take it in a whole new, but I don't know. Bruce Campbell's like, I'm tired. Fuck this shit. I'm retiring, and they had to cut it short. Well, this feels old. The old. But it sucks because you never find out what really happens to everyone else. It's like, where's everyone else at? Because it doesn't show anyone else. It's just some random chick. We don't even know who she is. And she wakes him up. And then he fucking says groovy and it cuts and that's it. That's a perfect ending if you ask me. It, it is. I'm not going to lie. It was a good ending, but it leaves you wondering what happened to everyone else and what's happening outside of that fucking... It puts you on a cliffhanger. You know what I mean? A fucking big cliffhanger. And then it lets you... It, it let. I like how it, it, like when shit ends like that because it lets the fans theorize. You know what I mean? It lets them uh, be like, oh, it might be this. It might be that. Maybe this is fucking her mom or some shit. You know what I mean? You know, we, <coughs> we almost had a movie with Ash versus Freddy versus Jason. We were really close to having a movie for it. But uh, what happened to it? <coughs> who's the guy that directed Evil Dead? Uh, I don't even know. Fuck. I don't remember right now. Sorry. Well, he didn't want Ash, his character, going with... Uh, anywhere near at the time that they were planning to do it it's when they had freddy versus jason out already mm-hmm. so jason what jason and freddy were had rights to uh who was it new line cinema right i think it was i mean i'm not don't quote me on that right but he didn't want them anywhere near them because they were they would change it up too much and i guess they, they wouldn't let him do it like he wanted so he just didn't take the chance and it would have been cool to see that though right and that was back when he was when bruce campbell was a little younger you know, like, but fuck it. I guess the king has, you know, put uh, the torch down. And are you talking about uh, the movie? Or are you talking about uh, of what? The director. The director who directed Evil Dead. It says Sam Raimi. Oh yeah, Sam Raimi. I said Raimi, like it was like a fucking Sam like, Raimi. Yeah. So yeah, fuck. Oh dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking dumb. Of course. No, it's it's the same director who did uh, fucking the Spider Man movies, bro. Raimi. What? Yeah. Get the fuck out of town. Look it up. Look up the director for Spider-Man and look up all his other movies. Evil Dead, he's done all the, he's been involved since day one with Evil Dead, Which bro. Which Spider-Man? I'll be easy to look up. All of them. The Tobey Maguire ones. All right, fine. I will. Look it up right now. Look up who directed that shit and then look up more of his films and Evil Dead will come out. I fucking bet. Okay, OD. I'm fucking down with this bro. shit. Yep, you're right. This fool has a fucking wild... That's why his Spider-Man movie's fucking awesome, dude. Because he knows what's up with movies, bro. Is this fool from fucking England or some shit? What? Fucking... Uh, no, he, he's not from is England. Is he from the UK? Nah, he's not. He speaks English. This fool has American. a... I don't know why, but his fool has a wild UK face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Does he really? Yeah. I don't... Like, you know, like... You know... I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe that. Like it, it looks distinguished. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you could just you could picture the the accent like, coming off. I his could fucking picture, face. yeah. I don't want to do the accent, but I'll do it right now. Like I could picture him being like, "Hey, hello, you know, I just directed Spider Man, and uh, it's gonna be a smashing hit, right?" And next right? year, look out for Evil Dead versus <laughs> the Spider Man. Okay. Look out for the Evil Dead versus Spider Man. Now turn into, turn into Arnold. Sw- yeah. <laughs> Sw- uh. Uh, and then, sorry and then fucking Sylvester Stallone comes on the like, hey, yo. hey yo Adrian <laughs> what, what do you say you and me go into the back room over there <laughs> uh, I don't know about that come on you never seen fucking Big Mouth <laughs> I never I never watched I saw one episode that we watched here and that was it I for, I forgot I'm not gonna lie I don't know I can't get into it it's too like I don't know it's, it's, it's okay just, it's weird I for, it's okay I forgot I forgot <laughs> what what the fuck he, like he says but like he says like Oh, what do you say you will suck my dick or some shit like that? You know what I mean? I forgot what the fuck he says. What the fuck? But he says it just like that. It's fucking hilarious. Trust me. Big mouth comedy. Fucking big mouth. Grannies. All right, man. Uh, yeah. Anything else you want to add to the podcast before we cut it off? Nah, fucking. Uh, 
I don't know if any, we got any viewers. If we did, good shit for watching. If not, I'm going to make this clip either way later on into yeah. a full YouTube video with the intro and all that good stuff. This was just a raw live feed for if anyone wanted yeah. to watch during the session. Right. But you don't have to. Yeah, it don't matter. But if we ever get popular enough, you know, it'll be more common for people to watch live. Yeah, definitely. But if not, it's okay. We still love you, you know? But who says anything that's going to happen? Nothing is guaranteed, Joseph. Exactly. But I'll tell you guys this. What is guaranteed is that motherfucking Christmas is rolling up. And y'all better be thankful for what you have. And. And be good to your mothers and be good to your loved ones and all that good stuff. So everybody go ahead. Uh, hey, is Hanukkah done or? I, I don't know. I know it started not too long ago, but happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa yep. Happy Christmas. Whatever the fuck. Whatever you celebrate. celebrate. If you don't celebrate none of that, we'll have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Have a good you know, <laughs> real quick, just real That's quick. The most hilarious I remember. Have a good day. <laughs> well, what else? When I was a kid in elementary, I remember I had this one friend, and I, I was so hyped for Christmas. I was like, "Hell yeah, dog, Christmas!" <laughs> and I was like, "A <laughs> fucking wild hype." <laughs> What the fuck? I was just at school, like, fucking a whole month away and shit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I was all like, fuck, finally, we're in December. And then I was telling my homie, like, what are you excited for to get for Christmas? He's like, we don't celebrate Christmas. I'm like, why? Oh, shit. And he's like, I don't know. My parents don't believe in anything, so there we don't go. celebrate. I think they were like atheists, but I didn't know right. what the, I didn't, at the time, I didn't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> that was like, I believe. So in my head, I'm like, damn, there's a religion that doesn't believe in motherfucking Christmas? I was like, <laughs> and I remember I just looked at it, I was like, that sucks. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if, like, <clears throat> I'm not a very re re religious person either, but I'm fucking going to celebrate Christmas. God damn it. Yeah, for real. Because I like what it stands for. I mean, it's a good time, and especially for families, bro. If you got family, it's fucking amazing However, to spend with your family and, and your I young I do ones admit that it, it is a very greedy corporation. It is. Yeah, dude, day, people. You know? But you just got to, don't feed into it. Like, spend time with right. your family on Thanksgiving, bro. Don't go Black Friday shopping. Right. It's not, it's, come on, bro. I fucking hate that, bro. I know. And only, a lot of people rather fucking shop and shit rather than spend time with their families. And it's like, come on, man. And if you want to give, make sure you actually want to. Don't do it just to be like <clears throat> yeah. on the fucking gram and shit. I'm sick and goddamn tired yeah, of saying shit all that. Like that. Do shit just out of the goodness of your heart, okay? Little if there's anything you guys can take from the dumb shit we always talk about, just take this positive message and do some good. Because there's too many fucking stupid ass people in this world that, you know... They're just doing negative shit left and right. Fucking stop. It's not that hard to put True. some positivity in life, True. okay? You're right. God damn it. Just do the right fucking thing, all right? It's true. And uh, and on that I'm note. Tired of this shit. And on that note, we're going to be wrapping this up. All right. And this was uh, Who Is You? No, I mean, we don't know who the fuck you guys are, but what we do know is, is that you're listening to the podcast. Hell and for yeah. that, we motherfucking love you. We appreciate you. I'm Joe Mariscal. And I'm William Rodriguez. And until next time, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Dunzo.